Hi, it's Deacon Lou Promozik from I'm in Ministry, and I'm at the I'm in Ministry Fulfillment Center, and we're getting ready to travel over to St. Aloysius Parish, which is located on 110th and St. Clair. And we're really excited today that we are announcing a new collaborative relationship with the outreach program at St. Aloysius, and we're also going to be offering a homily reflection uh, referencing the readings of the third Sunday of Easter. So I'd appreciate it if you have a chance, take a look at the homily and reflection, and if you like it, share it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Deacon Lou Promozik, and this is a continuation of our Street Stories series in which we go out to the communities and talk about the great things that happen. And today I'm at St. Aloysius Parish, which is on 110th in St. Clair, and it's a privilege to be here, but to disclose fully, I have a relationship here that goes back many, many years ago. October 23rd, 1955, I was baptized here at St. Aloysius, and this is where I get my start. And so it's just uh, very humbling to be here. As we think about this coming weekend, the third Sunday of Easter, there's really an opportunity to pinpoint what Jesus is saying to us, but also what the Acts of the Apostles are doing in those early days of the church. In the readings this weekend is Acts 5, 27 through 32, and the Gospel is John 21, 1 through 19. And as I have had the opportunity to talk to people here at St. Aloysius, it's really interesting because they're living with the messages in the, in the Acts of the Apostles today. Is people going into the community and the, the outreach efforts that happen here at St. Aloysius in the parish school, as well as the collaborative ecumenical services that are provided, the ecumenical outreach activities, feeding the hungry, feeding the poor, and so on, it really speaks to exactly what is outlined in the Acts of the Apostles. Those apostles, after Jesus was risen, they were fearful, but they were courageous. They were questioned uh, everything that they did, but they made the impossible possible. And really, that's what we're called to do in the outreach efforts, is to, to deliver and make the impossible possible. And in John's Gospel, it happens that in the first part of the Gospel, and it's a lengthy Gospel, it's one of the last miracles that Jesus performs. First miracle is at Cana, the wedding. And this is the last miracle. And it's the third time Jesus appears to the apostles right after he has risen on Easter Sunday. And he's reminding them what's really important. And in that lengthy gospel, we hear Jesus ask Peter three times, Do you love me? And Peter says, I do love you. And Jesus replies, Go feed my sheep. Jesus asks him a second time, do you love me, Peter? And Peter says, I do love you. And Jesus gives him another directive to feed the lamb. And finally, the third time when Jesus says to Peter, do you love me? Jesus answers with frustration. He says, Lord, you know that I love you. But remember, Jesus also knows that Peter denied him three times just before his crucifixion. And Peter says, I do love you. And Jesus gives him a directive to go serve others. My friends, that's what this gospel message is about today. It's how we are called to serve others. And Jesus says in the gospel of, of John 21, which is the actual last chapter of that gospel, Jesus says, follow me. And what we know is in those Acts of the Apostles, they did follow Jesus. And what we know is in the outreach efforts that happens in this community, they're following the message of Jesus. And so, my friends, what Jesus is saying to us today in this gospel, he says, do you love me? And the answer is, yes, Jesus, we love you. And what Jesus says, if you love me, you will feed those who are in need. You will help all of those who are the less fortunate. And to realize that we're all children of God. And so this third Sunday of Easter is the opportunity for us to answer the call when Jesus says, do you love me? To say, Lord, I love you with heart, mind, and soul, and I will follow you.